and I'm sick and tired of this fucking debate. Men need to respect women, period. So you should respect women. I am a woman, I just became a woman. It's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Hundreds of people in downtown Dallas today for the fourth annual Women's March. What's going on now in our national uh, government, we're going back to the 50s. I mean, there's other methods of showing up, like voting and stuff, that I feel like would make even like more of a difference, but... At the Dallas Women's March and marches all over the country and all over internationally are not about Trump. Donald Trump has got to go! Four years in, the Women's March target hasn't changed. Ah, the fourth annual Women's March. Day. One, two, three. Abortion! Woo! One, two, three, four, patriarchy has got to go! This year in Dallas, Texas, we set up the Change My Mind table. And some of the crew even joined in the march. Hello, ladies. No, debate is a trap. I found talking with traditional people does not actually change my mind. How does it feel to be a piece of shit? <laughs> 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 Now, to be clear, we did have some great rational sit-down conversations, and we'll be airing some more of those Wednesday. But before that, I'd like to draw your attention to the felony assaults committed, starting with this Z. Flag, sweetheart! Well, glad that's over. Now we can get back to civil, rational conversations devoid of any future felony assaults, right? Right? A woman who is told, if you're assaulted, please go to the authorities, they will handle it. And then someone in a privilege of power, let's say a cop or an attorney or whatever, they ask the question, well, what were you wearing that night? That mm. permeates. Which is bullshit. It is, it is bullshit. I'm so yeah. sorry. And sorry. you think rape culture is a fucking Can you, can you just oh, wait? We'll have a conversation Don't afterwards. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. There's no conversation that needs to be fucking had. Rape is fucking serious. Rape has happened to me four fucking times. And I'm sick and tired of this fucking debate. Men need to respect women. Period. So you should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I am a woman. So fuck. You, if you don't think Sir. so, I don't really have time I, for this, I, and I don't have time. My no, mistake. You're going to let me speak because uh, here's my truth. I've been raped four privilege. times. I've known women that have been raped multiple times gruesomely. And how dare you sit up here and try to say that women aren't worth respect? I, Fuck you. I didn't say that. I am a woman. I just became a woman. It's just like, are you fucking kidding me? People don't even respect me. Period. And I'm, I mean, I'm already black, so it's just like, uh, yeah, that already goes against me, anyways. But still. Might, you, might you, you piece can... of living garbage ass dumpster fire. Dumpster fire! Trash gum on the bottom of my shoe. Oh my god, I wish I had a tissue for the blood. I would f sure. you. Oh. Might I suggest it's your behavior, not because you're black or a woman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can I stop here? Can I stop here? Can I stop here, please? She has just made a statement about being assaulted, which is very vulnerable and it's very scary to do. She just called me a. I, I understand. Yeah, the I understand. Gentleman just called me a piece of. Sh so she, I'm saying that's. She. Sorry, she, my mistake. So when did she go from male privilege to female privilege? Because she just said she only became a female recently. It wasn't okay the approach that she made, but it also wasn't okay to antagonize. How did I antagonize? If we're gonna have a conversation, let's go back to what we were originally talking about. Well, no, about. I think this is important because I think that's an example mm -hmm. of female or trans privilege right there. Because you weren't helping the situation, so I brought us back. Well, it's so not I'm about gonna, helping the situation, gonna, it's about I'm being truthful, finish, truth matters. I'm going to finish saying my okay, truth. Okay, go ahead, your okay. truth. Let's hope it's the truth and not what that lady was saying. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, I believe that's a man. That woman, very upset, made very valid points. Made what zero valid points. Okay. So let me ask you this, define woman. Woman? What is a, a woman when we're talking about men's privilege, rape culture? 
define woman for me so I don't get it wrong. Well, a woman is any person who defines herself as, um, if you're looking at biologically speaking, a woman is someone who has female parts. Her anatomy is that of a vagina and having um, just female parts. Because you it. said biologically female parts, obviously our friend there wouldn't have that. Um, so would that be included? Okay, so but that's your definition of it. That's one definition of it. What's your definition of it? So that way I'm not stepping over any bounds. What's any, your definition? Any of it? person who uses the pronouns he, I mean, I'm sorry, she, and who identifies as such, okay. I respect what they identify themselves as. So that's an example of female privilege there. Mm -hmm. so if that's a man, we treat them very differently, and I'm sure you're aware of this. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's There's not There's accountability between men. Oh, absolutely. A country where guilty until proven instant, innocent, yes, we'd be rotting in a jail. But I, I know of... Ooh. I know of a story just recently, and I'm sorry I can't come up with... I can't say the name of this individual. Come on, that's inappropriate, sweetheart. <laughs> you feel better? Oh, are you offended by what I said? No, I just don't think it's necessary. Aren't you just feeding into it? You do realize that's a violent crime, correct? You're fine. Ah, so because there's no damage done, it's You're fine. fine. Okay. You're fine. Understood. Just recently... That doesn't bother you. What if that were a man? Because that's a woman. Wouldn't bother you? Not this moment. Okay. I don't... I think you might need to check your own privilege and bias. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications on the notification bell because just hitting the bell isn't uh, enough anymore. Another installment of Change My Mind Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. And in, in this one, hopefully no uh, hobos lunchboxes get stolen and or thrown. I said, I said hobos. Bows.